Scrappy Peep, Susanna here today for Ellie's Studio. Welcome to my channel, and I am sharing with you a layout I created using the new February kit released today and the exclusives. So this is the layout that I created. I used both digital elements, a digital cut file, um, some the polka dot, polka stack paper, pattern paper stack oh my goodness sorry um, as well as the kit and add-ons I have two photos um, you'll see three but one is the same size uh, three by four and one is larger it's five by whatever that translates to three by four cut trim down to five tall um, and I'm figuring out which size photo I want to use but what you'll see I've done on the left hand side of the photo there it, or the page there is I've used a digital cut file um, and so it's just the stripes and I in Photoshop repeated those stripes uh, down the, uh, the canvas of an eight and a half by 11 page and then uh, printed that out on an eight and a half by 11 page um, thus creating the left hand side of the layout there um, I want to use these labels so uh, some of them are dies from the kit and some of uh, I'm sorry some of them are printables from the digital and then the others are from the uh, add-ons um, no I'm sorry they're the February labels I let me get that right the February labels are these there's lots of labels with arrows on them and I figuring out where each of the different ones come from um, has been a little bit confusing for me this month obviously so the short ones are the February labels and then the longer ones are from the digital kit and I want to use them to sort of extend the arms of those colors going down the side of the page there these colors are absolutely perfect for Mardi Gras um, and so that is what this is is a Mardi Gras layout well it's a king cake layout let's be real it's about the food um, everything with me is about the food uh, and so that is um, what I'm doing here because I only have the eight and a half by 11 page there and I want to create a 12 by 12 layout I want and I'm using a yellow frame I just like the way that that ties that all together I'm filling in that space over there with that purple um, to again it's the colors of the king cake um, and Mardi Gras so I have that to fill my left hand side over there now I just want to fill a fun cascade on the left hand side over here and so I'm going to use the stamps uh, from the good times tab stamp um, I'm just going to use some of the phrases down that left hand side trying to uh, mix color on color um, and then just get some fun phrases in there to me it's kind of like the falling of the beads um, is the falling of the words and the goodies down the side of the page there that is my analogy um, and so I will go ahead and repeat or stamp the whole width of that down there uh, I don't know why I don't keep stamping I think I got distracted by this purple and really needed that to be complete um, <laughs> before I could go on it, it's kind of yeah I got distracted by that quite obviously um, but I do stamp all the way down with the different phrases um, and I actually haven't committed to the placement of everything yet I just know that's why I didn't stamp all the way down is because I wasn't sure how far over I could go with some of these things and I needed to finalize that before I could go any further um, so you can see the yellow card there and then that four by six card that come with the kit uh, I, I had really intended to use the, the whole card just like that um, but there's something distracting about all of those words um, with all of the other words that I'm going that I know I want to put in that that cascade of goodness down the left hand side there um, and so I'm I've left in a lot of decision making and struggling and shuffling on this video um, I will often edit it out but I think it's an important part of the process and it helps you understand why I made some of the decisions that I made with this um, and so my other intent as I set out this layout was that I also wanted so there I had arrows pointing in towards the photos and then my intent was to have some of those matching labels on the right hand side to point inward so that everything kind of pointed in towards the center of the layout there um, it 
tied it in nicely for me. Uh, and so you can see I'm trying to find something to fill this space here. I know I want that green, but it just, I, I was struggling to find a way to integrate that into the whole look of the layout that I've created there. So what I did was I printed a third photo my daughter and I with the cake. And that worked perfectly in my grid, not grid layout. Um, and it, so then it gave me the idea that the way I could incorporate this green into the layout is by just cutting out um, a word that was applicable. Uh, and so I'm going to tie that into my title and the title becomes happiness is king cake um, or a king cake. Um, we get a king cake every year from my husband's work. Um, he has, they, they have a bakery there um, and he pre-orders that for us every year, which is awesome because they are, um, they're almost like they come directly from New Orleans. Uh, so we are always happy to have our king cake and fight over who's, or see who's going to get the baby. So I just cut a three by four card. It is the three by four card that coordinates with the printable that I have enlarged over there. And again, I like the way that having a little bit of that busyness on the left hand side on the right hand side just unites almost both halves of the page there. So you see my fingers going in. I'm trying to create that inward movement on my page there. So I know that purple label is going to house the purple puffy stickers that are also add ons this month. Um, and these are the arrow stickers. That's why I'm telling you, I was trying to figure it all out. Um, I like to back some of these paper stickers uh, with cardstock because I often like to use them to connect to, to uh, overlie a three by four card. And that transition can be a little bit bumpy. And by backing it with cardstock, it just makes it a little bit more solid. Um, and so that has been backed with cardstock. Uh, that is yellow heart there is uh, one of the die cuts from the kit and then these little arrows are also die cuts from the kit and I thought they were a fun way of also having the arrows pointing in. Um, I am not sure how I'm going to tie that yellow journal card in. I, I want something else. I feel like there's a lot of dark elements in those photos and then you have this pop of yellow, this sudden contrast to it, and I felt like I needed to integrate it into the rest of the layout a little bit better, um, and that was what I struggle with in that top layer there. So I'm going to use the puffy stickers here, the new purple puffy stickers, uh, to put king cake, and I knew I didn't have room for is a, um, and so I'm just going to write that with my lovely handwriting, ha ha ha, um, to the left hand side of king there to complete the title. So now that I've got this layout pretty much set um, and the placement of things, I can go ahead and finish the stamping that I wanted to stamp. So again, this is using this month's Good Times tamp Tab stamp. Um, so you have one of the tabs, um, both the outline as well as the solid that I um, actually don't use here, um, but that also coordinates with one of the metal dies. Everything that Ellie, that Ellie <laughs> puts out, and Megan, um, the dies are usually interchangeable, which is absolutely awesome. So if you bought the dies from, oh gosh, I want to say it was a year and a half ago, those will coordinate with this and you'll be able to cut those out as well. Um, let's see. So just repeat stamping there. Something that is bugging me about this, I can tell you right now while I was creating, is there seems to be a gap. There's a big gap between that block of that third photo, Happiness, where the title is nestled, and um, the bottom left-hand side of that page there. I know I'm not going to journal there to fill that because I'm going to journal on that yellow 3 by 4 card. See, there. I'm like, i got to fill something in there, and that's where I decide that this yellow star is going to be perfect and then I can use the star that is in the good times tab stamp um, to, to fill that in a little bit. So there still ends up being a white space there but it ends up being a white space for your eye to rest, a gentle space rather than a glaring gap and a hole, um, sort of trapped space. Right now it looks like trapped space but once I fill that in with these um, elements you can see how that 
becomes less trapped. So that takes care of that. Now I've got this up here to negotiate. So there is the, are those opposing um, stripes. And then I used the digital cut file. There have tabs um, that match the tab stamps. Um, and this particular one says, love this. And I will go in later off camera and stitch there. And I like the way that that pop of the aqua ties in with the aqua or the green or the teal um, of the happiness. And it brings that equal tone and balance of color to the grid that I've got going on there, asymmetrical grid. So see what I mean about the stars and how that fills that trap space and just makes it, um, yeah, much better. So I have this label, this yellow label next to the king cake. Um, and I often feel like I need to have things on these labels. I know that's not what I want on that left-hand side there, but this just feels by itself over here on the right-hand side like it needs to be filled with something. Um, and so I'm fussy cutting out fun times, and I thought that I might make the uh, title be... You'll see, I'll move it in a second. Yep, fun and happiness is a king cake. Um, or just that I would have fun there to sort of fill that space. Uh, so there's the die. Um, and I don't like that. The gray is, that was going to be the only element of gray. And then I thought, well, I can trace it on a piece of pattern paper. But I felt like I was using it just because I could, not because it served any particular purpose. So these are the awesome chipboard stickers this month. Look at those rainbows. Aren't they absolutely fantastic? Um, I am not using a rainbow on this layout, but I do on the other, a few of the other layouts that I create this month. Um, so be sure if you haven't already done your shopping to pick up those chipboard stickers. They're called Happy Little Moments chipboard stickers. They are fantastic. I love those yellow stars. I've used all of them. Um, and then there's clouds and I've used almost, no, in fact, I know I've used all of those as well. Um, great little elements there. So I kind of like the way that the movement of the arrows in and out um, just adds to that stripe there. And so I went with that. I also used one of the bright die cut tabs uh, as well. So enjoy the rest of the close-ups. A uh, link to my products is down below. If you have any questions, you know me, don't hesitate to ask. And I hope you have enjoyed this process video. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.